But I'm reminded of someone, uh, proverb now quoted by Sheila Jackson Lee, cleaning a dirty kitchen. Uh, you can't clean it with dirty water. Uh, there are no redeeming factual information that we will receive today that can add to the abhorrence that all of us have on terrorism in the United States of America. We don't disrespect the witnesses, at least I do not. But you see, it has already been tainted, this hearing. Uh, there are no loud signs of reasoning that are coming through this hearing. The reason is because it has already been classified as an effort to demonize and to castigate a whole broad base of human beings. I cannot stand for that. And I brought with me the Constitution. It's a living and breathing document. The First Amendment allows us the freedom of religion, the freedom of association and expression. But I will tell you today that this breathing document is in pain. We could have had a hearing that spoke about any number of issues of terrorism. We might have gone back to the cold cases of the civil rights movement, acts of terror. We might have tried to understand whether Klansmen still roam today and terrorize individuals in parts of this country. Maybe we would have found out what those who are opposed to the Jewish faith are doing to Jewish communities and synagogues, no matter what their religion. And maybe we would go and question Muslims who are hovering and scared because someone might suggest that they too are someone who is eager to do terrorist acts. We would be better off if we would have a hearing speaking about the importance of human intelligence, funding for uh, the elements of the Department of Homeland Security that can work on human resources to be able to hear from individuals who do want to engage and help this country promote its values.